Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we have some brand new footage of victory scene breakouts in WWE 2K17 courtesy of the WWE 2K dev account which I'll leave a link to in the video description. Now these work just like the regular entrance breakouts whereby you'll see a breakout option appear in the top left of the screen during your winning animation and that then allows you to break out and continue the fight beating down your opponent. Check it out. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way. <laughs> we all knew this situation was going to explode sooner rather than later. He's showing no signs of letting up. Man, that one rocked him. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Perhaps. It's happening, Cole, right before your very eyes. The iconic Titus O'Neil. What a backbreaker. Man, he is a technician. And just tossing him away. Ouch. That one could keep the primetime player on the bench for good. Well, this might be the worst yet. What type of competitor is favored when you step outside the ropes, King? Well, in my opinion, the more vicious, the more destructive person that... Look out. Titus O'Neil is measuring. Oh, good God. The announce table is shattered and both of these superstars are laid out. Oh, my. Titus O'Neil. So there you go, and that is the new breakout victory scene feature in WWE 2K17, which I think is a pretty cool addition as it is something that people have been requesting for years. But to point out a few little things, you will notice when breaking out that your opponent doesn't have an on-screen HUD, instead only the player's HUD appears, and it carries on in the state that the player was in prior to the pinfall, albeit for added momentum. As for how long you can continue to fight, that comes down to what you do, is using an OMG moment like we see Titus using here, then this causes more damage and it ends the fight, whereas if you just continue to brawl, eventually you'll see a cutscene play in which you throw your opponent against the side of the announce table. Finally, one thing to note from the end of the video is the match rating score, as a lot of people have been asking if this means the clips that we're seeing are from my career, or if the star ratings are now present in exhibition matches. While I can't answer that definitively, I can tell you that the demo build that I played did not feature star ratings in exhibition matches, therefore I would imagine that this is either from my career, or maybe 2K have decided to add in the match rating to exhibition matches for players to earn VC or virtual credits, which then unlock items this year, but like I say, I can't say that for sure as I've not played the finished version of the game, so I'll have to wait for confirmation on that. One good thing to end on though is the addition of the highlight reel which has been sorely missed with the menu here listening at the end of the match confirming players will be able to use the feature post match to pick out the highlights. Anyway guys that is all for now but stay tuned to the channel as I'll have some exclusive details on a few of this year's superstars coming up tomorrow which features a list of signatures, finishers, outside finishers, skill sets and two brand new unannounced OMG moments so look out for that and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. All that's left to be said though is let me know your thoughts on this new gameplay in the comments. Have an awesome day and until next time, I'll catch you later.